What are you writing? Writing? Oh, nothing. Drawing. Drawing conclusions. Wow, can you believe it's fried chicken Friday already? Do you know where your fried chicken is? Alright, get ready for drawing conclusions. This is a map idea I've had for a while where I want to make my own textures. Uh, I was originally going to do this in Deeply to Men in the Knee, a Doom 1 project I was working on until I realized I hate Doom 1 mapping. But yeah, I drew pretty much all of these by hand. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, there was some textures I used a, a you know photo editor to just turn the black and white because it was impossible to draw. But for the most part, I very crudely quickly drew all these and, and uh, I made this crazy shit. So here we go. Shoot the barrels first, if you can. That'll blow up a chain gunner down below. And don't forget about this guy up here. He'll fuck you up. Go grab that chain gun. Wake up the Revenant. Sometimes the Revenant can come up the stairs, but not always. Now, I don't know if you guys prefer me to wait to give out secrets until the end. I have beaten the secretless. Um, this has gone badly. This map has a lot of obvious secrets, so I think I'm just gonna... Fuck this up as hard as I can. There we go. I think I'm just gonna do the secrets along the way. I think that makes sense. So yeah, if you press this wall, it lowers this. That gets you access to shoot some guys in advance there. Take your run out of ammo. If you go over here and shoot or punch this thing, you get the shotgun. That also lowers these guys. You wanna deal with them real quickly because they'll flood the door and start coming at you. Check it out. That's our blue key money. Shoot that guy. If you're quick enough, you can blow up this barrel and that guy, but I wasn't. Things always go a little bit wrong when you're making a video. There's an invisibility back here. That'll help you be invisible. All right. Now, if you get your jump right and look at the map, you'll see there's a secret little doodad in there. It's a berserk. And it teleports the chain gun guy. And brings you right to the blue key room. Lower the crates, grab the blue key. You're on your way. Punch that guy out. Go in here, don't be afraid. And secret there. Most people are finding these. They're not these secrets are pretty much like, yeah, 15 secrets. A lot of them are pretty much like, here you go. Just take it. Just take my secrets, grab these. Cause you wanna get all the items. All right, open the door, check it out. You're up here now. I'm gonna show you something. A lot of people, and it's possible to just murder these guys. I tried to make it so it couldn't. Everybody seemingly has done that. So if you kill these guys, press the button. I didn't expect people to press the button that soon. Because you have to lower the yellow key. If you press that button, that opens this corridor over here. Which causes everything to go haywire and backwards. It causes this to open up. When it really shouldn't open up yet. Like, And everybody's played it the backwards way that it didn't want to happen. So, I want to play it the way I thought people would play I thought people would go up here, see these guys go, holy shit. Press the button and go, oh my god. Give me that. And be like, what? I'm not dealing with you. Maybe you didn't find the secret berserk yet. A lot of people didn't. Now you hear that fucking noise, and you're like, whoa, here come some guys, and you're like, hey, some guys down here, oh shit, there's even more of them. And you just pretty much like run away, and here they come. They're coming at you, and they chase you all the fucking way down. Punch these guys out, these boxes. Here comes the guys, you can just jump down. Invisible buddies. You wanna punch those guys out. Yeah, I had a lot of fun designing this map. I actually designed it regular style and then just went and replaced all the textures. Grab the invulnerability. Now I'm playing in GZ Doom, which fucks it up. I don't have it set right, but if you're playing in, you know, other ports or have the standard invulnerability, it basically inverts all the colors and it looks really cool. Everything's black and white, so. Uh, you'll check that out if you try it. I don't want to spoil everything on you. Mancubus, when you press the button, that opens up this. Blow that up. Oh, here comes a chain gun spider lady. You wanna, can you just like move so I can grab the, you bitch. 
All right. Whoa, let's get around you. When you walk here past this line, it opens up. You walk about here, it opens up these guys. As you can see, if you walk even further back, then it lowers everything and makes it even more you're going to get shot. Careful, it's so easy to get fucked up here. There's an invulnerability in here that you can't quite get to, but you can look at it. And those Hell Knight guys will snipe you so hard from all over the place. Uh-oh. Hope I don't fuck this up. Now nah, we're fine. Spider Mama, she's fighting, now we can grab this. Ugh. If you lower this, you get another one. There's three Spider Mamas. There used to be five, but I thought maybe that was too many. I almost got a little bit too carried away there and fucked that up, but I didn't, so it's good to know. But yeah, it's hilarious how many people have been sniped by the Hell Knights. They'll snipe you from all the way over here, from all the way over there. They'll snipe you from every witch ran around. Alright, fuck them. See? Hell Knight. Hell Knight goo. It's gonna get you. Here's another wacky crusher thing. If you remember map 12, the barrel map by the pizza store. It's just put a ceiling on the floor and turn it into a crusher later and it janks right out hilariously. All right, let's go over here. Now there's some options. You can take the regular boring exit. I don't know why you'd want to. Or you can take the secret exit, grab the red key. And then, you end up on a different journey. This is water. Those are the conclusions you have to draw. You don't know what's water, what's acid, what key doors open what, what. It's pretty fucked up. This is fire blue texture. Fire black and white. Make sure you grab these helmets. You can come back to them. And also these, these, these skulls will teleport and get you later if you leave them. So I try my best that if the player leaves a monster behind, they're going to teleport to you later or find a way to you. I usually try my best to design things that way. Alright, hope I grabbed all the items because I want to prove that you can. This is like lava or something. Alright, now this is opened up. We still have a spider mama fighting a bunch of guys. You know what we're just going to give her? Pick up this. Shoot this guy up. This candle represents some goodies over here, including a map. Run for it. This will telefrag a spider if it's still around. Yes, we got him. Alright. Shit, son. Better show you some more secrets real quick before I fuck this up. Oh! So if you go up to the fountain over here... This will raise up one of those. Thank you. Have you noticed that you only have the shotgun and chain gun at this point? That's uh, by design. It's hard to make a map that's entertaining with just two weapons. But there's a reason for that. And I'll explain it when I get to map 31. Hell yeah. Damn! Alright, let me show you another secret. An emergency secret. Oh god, this is an emergency. Alright, carefully. Go on this ledge, 
Ah. Uh, okay, that was scary. Now, if you look at the map, you'll see something weird is going on here. It's a fake wall to a switch. And that, since you here, shoot that, blow up the barrels. Go up. And that button that you press behind the fake wall takes you to the invulnerability. Another invulnerability. That's just to slow you down. These doors are crushers now. Go out here. You can punch things. Go up here. Press this button. That lowers the bar. It also brings out a Baron. It's the only Baron in the map. Nobody wants to shoot or chain gun a Baron. So you probably want to do some invulnerability punching on this guy. Give her. I had so much fun drawing the SP face wall right there, by the way. Alright. This, um... This thing became a lift, a moving lift, because it helps the monsters flow through and get you. And the whole point is to always make sure the monsters are coming for you. got so many more secrets to find. Alright, when you go over here, at some point during all of this shit, this button became available for you. Press it, and that gets you this room full of the mega armor and stuff. Right, we got that. Oh yeah, we gotta pick up these items too. Oh, this is a secret. Both sides of this count as a secret. I forgot about that. Alright, carefully grab all the goods. Two hundred items or so? Don't get crushed. Unless you're into that. Go grab that soul spear. Grab that berserk. Go grab this soul spear. Okay, I know where the secrets are now. Yeah. Drink these drinks. Shoot the things. Now again, you can't tell what color the crates are, but that's a silver crate. Silver crates mean they can mean anything. Let's go ahead and deal with these guys real quick. Here's your exit. This counts as a secret. Now here's a teleporter that only works on ultraviolence because I fucked up and made the destination UV only. So if you play it on a lower setting, you can't use this portal. That just doesn't go nowhere, and it confuses you, so... Yeah, I screwed that up. Did I grab all the helmets? Because I missed the helmets before. Alright, this crushing noise is so fun. Yeah, there's some helmets in there. Now you can use this um, area again and again. If you haven't killed the spider yet, you can telefrag the spider this way over and over again. Ain't that a bitch. One item missing. So, the last secret uh, use one of these platforms that you shot down, these boxes, to get up here. Walk on the switch, which will flatten the switch, and lower this. Grab you that. Now we just gotta find out where that last shit and item is. Ain't that a bitch? Alright, one more check here. Oh, it's this fucking helmet. Yeah, I knew it was that helmet, too. That's another bitch helmet. So there you go. <laughs> There's drawing conclusions. And this will take you to the gold map if you get in there. There you go.
I hated that I couldn't find that last item. That was embarrassing. All right. So what do you think of the crazy textures? Was that weird? Some people liked or hated that music. Some people thought it worked. Some people thought it didn't. You can't please everybody. But if you didn't like the textures and want to play it normal styles, go to map 34. No. 34. Drawing no conclusions and then you'll see the map, you know, like this. Yeah, I bet you didn't know there was brown, did you? So this is what it looks like. So I made this map first, actually. And then I made the textures later. Uh, yeah, I had fun drawing these things. I don't know. Maybe I should have just made this map like this, but there's nothing really special about it. But yeah, it's kind of a trip if you want to experience it either way. If, like, the white and black gives you, like, an aneurysm, then you can play it this way. Alright, well, that's all I have to say about that. Have a good one.